Hey everybody, my name is Linda and I am from Illinois. I actually live about 30 minutes outside of Chicago. Excuse me, I don't have any makeup so my eyes are like a little raccoon looking-ish. Stop! My dogs are like really annoying, I swear. They're always play fighting. One is always sleeping but he's like 12 years old so I can actually show you my doggies here. Dunkin' Donuts because you run on Dunkin'. My doggies here. This is Oso, the brown one, and Bella, the white one. Okay, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. And the old one. So I have a diaper on him because he's, you know, incontinent. You know, he's always pissing everywhere. And so I'm embarrassed to show you, but that's him right here. What a cutie, right? He's, uh, yeah, he's really old. He's, he's 12 years old and, well, you know and enjoy what a little time I have left with him. Anyhow, so I wanted to just talk to you all about um, options and why LPN is a good route for you. Um, I've been an LPN for about like six months, even though I graduated um, last year. But the reason why it took me so long to pass it is because I took like a six month hiatus from studying and doing anything. The moment I graduated, I was like so thrilled and so happy to be done with it. I just completely stopped studying and, you know, just took vacations, you know, I had some fun time with my uh, family and friends and so forth. So by the time I actually had to take the HESI, which is the exit exam at the school I went to, I failed it three times, three times, y'all. Finally, I passed it on my fourth try. And when it came down for my NCLEX, I actually passed it on the first try. So I will be making a whole other video on that and, you know, what I used to study, etc. I'm setting you guys down because, you know, I had to show you guys my dogs. Anyway, um, so yeah, YLPN is a good career choice. Um, LPN has been very rewarding for me. Thank God. I'm just happy that I got the whole NCLEX out of the way in the HESI. Um... It's a good ladder route. So for me, the reason why I decided to start with my LPN was because I couldn't afford to quit my job and go to school full time. I wasn't able to do that. Oh my God, my little double chin, I really got to lose weight. Anyway, so LPN, yes. Um, a lot of people say like, oh, don't waste your time in LPN. You know, just go straight for RN. Yes, if you have the opportunity to go straight for RN, do it. You know, it's like more power to you. But if you were in the same boat as I was back then, I mean, we have a house, you know, a family. You obviously seen my three dogs, you know, they're very high maintenance. Um, and a daughter, you know, she's 11 years old and, you know, she's wanting more things and blah, blah, blah. I probably do spoil her, so, but that's on me. Anyway, she's my only child, you know, so. Um, yeah, LPM was a good route because I was still able to work full time and I was able to go to school full time. Working Monday through Friday. Friday, I was able to leave a little bit early. So I didn't lose too many hours, probably like two every week. Um, and school was Friday from 4.30 to 9-ish. Um, Saturdays and Sundays, 8 to 4. Of course, if you finish lecture early and your schoolwork, you know, the teacher was nice enough to let you leave a little earlier. Um, we did have, you know, breaks in between, of course. We're not slaves, you know. So anyway... Um, clinicals were on Sundays when it came down to it. I think it was like after three months of school, you had to do clinicals. Clinicals were crazy where we had to go do them. It was like somewhere in like Chicago and it was really bad. I mean, it was a really bad neighborhood. It was called Symphony of Chicago or something like that. I don't know, West Chicago. Anyway, it was, it was really bad. I mean, they always said, if you're going out to your car, make sure you go out in pairs. Um, me and one of my classmates, actually, we were on our way to the gas station. And they had told us, they're like, you know, well, we don't recommend you leaving the site unless you're leaving to go home. But, you know, even then, go in pairs. So me and my classmates are like, well, let's just go get, you know, lunch. We had forgotten our lunch. And, you know, we're like, let's just go and get like a little snack or something. We almost got hit. We didn't even make it to the gas station. And let me tell you, the gas station was just across the street. So after we saw that this car legitimately like curved or, you know, swerved onto us, like intentionally, we were terrified. We didn't even want to fully cross the street. We just ran back to um, the nursing home. It was really bad. Anyway, our classmates felt bad for us and they all kind of shared their food with us. So uh, 
um, what else? Oh yeah, I keep getting sidetracked, I'm sorry. So places that still hire LPNs. I actually wrote like a little cheat sheet just to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about it. Places that still hire LPNs. Hospitals still hire LPNs. I know a lot of people always say, oh, LPNs are getting phased out. Not true whatsoever. LPNs still do get hired at hospitals like Loyola, um, Northwestern, Advocate, uh, University of Chicago, like these places still hire LPN. So for uh, people to say, oh, they're no longer being hired, no, that's not true. Um, I actually did get offered a job position at Northwestern and at uh, University of Chicago. And um, I ended up turning them down because <clears throat> um, it was just a little too far for me. And I realized that after I went to the interview. <laughs> so with traffic, it's, you know, even though it says, oh, you know, 20 minutes, no. With traffic, it, it's going to take a lot longer. Well, at least for University of Chicago. But for, like, Northwestern, you know, that was way far farther out for me. And um, I decided to just settle for a medical office out by me. And I'm actually working at a dermatology office. Dermatology has been really rewarding for me, and I love it. Um, it can have its, you know bad moments, especially with like cyst removals. Oh my god, those smell disgusting. Hey! Be nice! So, um, yeah, medical offices, private medical offices. Like, I know DuPage, they hire LPNs as well, and I know some, some centers of uh, University of Chicago, they hire LPNs as well, still so, um, around those, like, little satellite offices. Uh, anyway, and, um, also, the Loyola satellite offices, they also still hire LPNs. Um, did I say DuPage? I'm not sure. Anyway, and uh, urgent care clinics, they hire LPNs. Uh, like flu clinics, um, those mobile, uh, what are they called? Like blood donating centers, like they hire LPNs. I said plastic surgeries, nursing homes, of course, skilled nursing facilities, home health centers. Um, hospice programs, they hire LPNs as well. And uh, you're also able to get certified to do IVs. LPNs technically can't do IVs, it's not within their scope of practice, but there is a program where you can go get certified in it and then you're able to do them. So then that way you can be actually able to get hired at uh, dialysis centers. Would you stop? Oh my god, look what they did. Look what they did, my dogs. Anyway. And it was me because of that. And you're also able to uh, sit and get certified for Botox and fillers. So you can actually work at like es um, medical um, esthetician offices, you know, or dermatology offices. You're able to do these if you have your license in it. So all in all, as an LPN, you know, you have so many opportunities out there. The pay is pretty good. I'm not sure if I already mentioned it, but... The pay um, on most of, most offices, they'll start you off at 21 and obviously work your way up from there. Obviously, nursing homes, you know, they do pay you a little bit more. I, I think some of them start you off at 24 and some of them start you off at 26. And I know, like, especially with, like, a night differential and weekends and um, registry, they give you a little bit more. Um, so, again, it's, it's really good. You know, there's always work out there. You just really have to look for them. And um, a really great ladder um, for your RN. So if it's something that you want to do, why not? Um, I went actually to a school in Lombard. It's called Illinois College of Nursing. And it was really great. It was an 11-month 11, 11 uh, program. And um, the total tuition was like 18000 But after scholarships and everything, I was able to bring it down to 10000 So, I mean, it's really not bad to become a nurse and yes LPNs are nurses they're not licensed practical ninjas they're licensed practical nurses so yes we do qualify as nurses we have to take the NCLEX we have to take the nursing board so for all of you that are always saying oh LPNs are not nurses not true and um, that's about it so I will be making another video I don't know maybe next week next month I don't know depending on how well this one goes um, on tips on how to help you pass your HESI and your NCLEX. So, again, I failed three times, but I didn't let it stop me. I passed it on my fourth try. As embarrassing as it is, it happens. So, anyway, um, hope you like it, and let me know what you think of the video, I guess.